some news out of Berea that nobody really wanted to hear again. Jamie Gillen, Anthony Walker placed on the COVID-19 reserve list, likely out for the game uh, against the Ravens Sunday, 1 o'clock, First Energy Stadium. Browns need that one desperately. Browns will likely sign a veteran free agent punter um, who will come in and kick. And um, here's what Joe Wood said the plan would be as far as a linebacker goes, a middle linebacker for the Browns on Sunday against the Ravens. We have good depth at the position. You know, with Malcolm, Elijah Lee, uh, we're still seeing where Jacob's at. So there's some possibilities there, but I just feel comfortable with the guys we'll have available. And speaking of Jacob, like, how has he looked, and is there still a hope that he might be able to play some snaps on Sunday? Yeah, we're going to evaluate that, you know, next couple of days. But as far as running around, he looks healthy. You know, he looks like he's capable. Just got to keep getting him in practice and, you know, getting that contact, see how he turns out, see how it turns out. Let's welcome in Scott Petrick, Brown's beat reporter for the Illyria Chronicle Telegram, uh, as well as brownzone.com. Scott, heard you ask that question about Jacob Phillips. Obviously, not ideal uh, situation, losing a couple more guys in Joku, in Joku earlier in the week as well. Yeah, it's not at all. I, I would say the Joku's probably the biggest of those three losses because they use so many multiple tight end packages. Um, you know, I think there's still a remote chance that he could make it back just because it happened on Tuesday as opposed to Thursday. But, you know, Anthony Walker plays a lot. You know, I think he played 84% of the snaps in Baltimore. He's played 100 multiple, 100% hundred percent of the snaps multiple times. So he helps guys get guys lined up, and that's important. It's important against a Ravens offense that you have to be disciplined going against Lamar Jackson, certainly. And then Jamie Gillen has not had a good year, but he's your guy, and he's had a ton of practice holding – for kicker Chase McLaughlin, and that's a big deal. Whoever comes in is going to – the timing's going to be a little bit off, and they're going to have to work through that. So not ideal, not the worst, you know, guys to go on COVID, but certainly not ideal. 